Hey everybody, this is Jam and Jamie here from Jam and Leather. Just wanted to say we we have some things to talk about today. And if you're joining us today, uh, just make sure you like us or share whatever you whatever you experience right now. We'd love to know that you're getting our word out there as well. We got a couple of things to talk about. One of the things we're going to talk about today is. Well, you know, sometimes it, it is spring is here. So one of the things in spring is that you're going to be getting married. So we'll talk about leather in a wedding. We're going to talk about that later on today. As also, we also got some leather trivia that we'll talk about. You know what celebrities wear uh, leather or bikers? We want to talk about that too. What celebrities you know are down and dirty bikers. We want, you, we want to know if you can figure that out. We'll tell you all about that in a little bit. But first, we got Ryan here to help me out. Say hey, Ryan. Hello. Ryan here is going to share with me a couple of things that I, have, uh, I would like to talk about today. But before we do that, as I said in the introduction, we have a guest speaker today uh, from Nom Nights. We have Axe here. So Axe, why don't you come over here and we'll talk about some of what you do. Thanks, Axe, hey, for coming Jamie. out. Thank there. you for having me. Appreciate you being here. Uh, uh, basically, uh, we want to find out what the nom knights are all about i want you to show them the logo for a second there on the back there we go that's what you'll see if riding around bunch of great guys Mil military uh, <coughs> uh as well as uh, full enforcement so we want to know more about the uh the nom knights so the nom knights were started in uh new jersey cross that new jersey uh by jack quigley it's uh this year is our 35th anniversary wow we have uh, over 80 chapters, I believe, uh, and we are international in the United States and Canada. Mm -hmm. um, as a club and as a chapter, our mission is to support uh, fallen uh, veterans as mm -hmm. well as uh, law enforcement officers um, and also to assist in active duty uh, law enforcement um, in their time of need. Mm -hmm. um, and basically through sponsorships, um, we promote awareness to uh, our cause through sponsorships such as yours. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Axe, tell us about, what, about your uh, affiliation with the uh, Nominites and why you're, you're a member. Um, I grew up in New Jersey. Um, I'm retired law enforcement, but I'm also a, a veteran, um, Iraqi Freedom. Um, mm -hmm. I joined about three and a half years ago um, when I moved down here. Um, the guys I met, it was just a, it was a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. um, Like-minded individuals, um, and I supported the mission. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I believe that uh, our veterans as well as our law enforcement officers don't get enough uh, praise and enough support in what they do. Well, thank you for your support and your services. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. It's great that if you have, if you have any further questions about being part of the Nom Knights or you're interested in what they do and when they do it, I'm sure you can contact Jam and Leather as well as these guys will have more information probably on their website. And they have a they, I know they have a a, a Facebook page, but yes. uh, there's probably a few other things you can catch them on. So uh, tell me something about what you're planning in the near future as far as rides, runs, whatever the case may be. So right now in the near future, we're working on, uh, I believe it's Friday the 17th of May, mm -hmm. um, and during Bike Week, we're mm -hmm. going to be having a charity ride mm -hmm. uh, starting here at Jam and Leather. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to end here at Jam and Leather. Uh, we're going to have three stops. Um, we're working on those now, so they're to be determined. Mm -hmm. um, it is going to be a nice ride. Um, and again, that um, money raised during that ride is going to go directly to um, our veteran community in the local area. No, we look forward to. We look forward to. Or we would like. We we do a lot of this kind of charity uh, work with benefit rides as well, and we have one also uh, scheduled also during Bike Week, which is May sixteenth, and yours is the seventeenth. Yes. And we should have one planned for the eighteenth, which is Saturday of Bike Week. So the three days we'll usually have three different uh, charity bike rides for you this is one great event they did it they actually did you did it with us um during fall bike during the fall rally yes, sir. fall rally and we did it we did a good raise up a good amount of money for the for the charity and it yes. was for shop with a cop that was shop with a cop yes. shop with a cop which is one of the many charities that they like to uh, to support so you if you're out there and you want to participate in their run just let us know stop by jam and leather we'll have the information at mbeventguide.com mb as mean myrtle beach eventguide.com we also have it there it'll be on their site yes. it'll be on our site a little link to the mb event guide so you can see what's going on and when to participate so uh is there any other things going on in the near, near future maybe before or after that uh, um, we're working on some more stuff uh obviously it's far away but the fall rally we're also going to be hosting another charity ride with you here That's as well right. mm -hmm. um we are working on some things this summer. Um, nothing set in stone yet. Um, more than likely, it's going to be a, t a fundraiser type thing, something indoors, so weather may, not, may or may not have an issue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, once we do get that, we will get that out um, onto, you know, with you so you can post that. And that will also be on uh, 
the Nom Lights Myrtle Beach Facebook page as well as the main nomlights.org page. Absolutely. Well, we look forward to a, a, a successful fall rally. If you plan to come into Myrtle Beach during the fall, fall uh, sorry, spring rally, I'll get it right because uh, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about both. Uh, it's the spring rally is actually May 13 to 19, which is actually 18th of Saturday. Nothing happens on Sunday. So, but you want to come and join us there for that. We'd appreciate it. We might even have Porta John races. Outstanding. That is that is a <laughs> sight to see, and you can come and experience that. Maybe you'll even put you in a Porta John and pit tag you along. If it's for a good cause, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be doing, we'll have a lot of fun here during uh, Bike Week. There's a lot of other places to go during Myrtle Beach Bike Week. If you're going to come to Myrtle Beach, you'll definitely find Jam and Leather is one of the places to stop, but there is a lot of great places. These guys know. Check with them. They'll tell you all the great places to go. Yes. And Ox, I really appreciate you coming and, and spending some time with us. Thank you very much Thank for having so much. me, and uh, I look forward to working with you soon we're, we'll, we'll be seeing you for bike week and have a great ride yes sue thank thanks, you sir. have a great day thanks guys okay well i appreciate that there axe we'll see you again thank you, Dave. okay let's see what we're gonna see what we're going to talk about here one of the things that i wanted to share with you let's see here my list of things okay we're going to talk about the most popular biker celebrities who are they? Is there, if you have any any ideas, just let us know. Let me see your messages. Those on TikTok and everybody, every place else, Facebook, Instagram. If you're out there, you're watching us. Let it. Let us know who you know is the most popular biker celebrities out there. So there's quite a few of them out there. Ryan, do you know any of the biker celebrities? Can you think of one? Ooh. Ooh. Good question. Oh. Hmm. Mm, I don't know, actually. You know, I don't want to take any any of them away from anyone. You know, so they can leave the comments. And well, I'm gonna know. I'm gonna leave the most popular biker celebrity to last. So anyway, but we do have quite a few. Did you know that Pink is a biker? I'm just saying. Ooh. Pink Pink has been a biker for many years. She she loves her. She's what is it a. Uh, um, Triumph. She she rides a Triumph uh, T100. So just saying, I don't know much about uh, that particular model, but I'll tell you, pink is a popular one. That's one of many. So we're going to talk about more in a little bit. And we have other things to talk about today. I said earlier that we are going to talk about weddings. Okay, mm -hmm. want to get married in leather? But leather is can be very appropriate for you to get married in. We'll talk about that in a little bit too. So thank you much for hanging with us. Okay, Ryan, let's see what we're gonna talk about today. What would you like to talk about? Why don't we talk about the uh, women's genuine leather vest and uh, halters that we have to offer? Genuine, let's talk about some basics. Obviously, we're gonna celebrate women today and obviously we wanna make sure that you're getting adva taking advantage of a lot of the stuff that we offer at Jam and Leather. We have halters, we have vests, and this is something that we're getting, in. we're in springtime, so you wanna make sure that you're covered up a little bit and, and you know, there's some other diff different items out there. But let's talk about here, we'll talk about a very basic vest here for the ladies, as you can see here. It's a side lace uh, leather vest. This is an more of an economy version of it. Jam and Leather brand, it's a, been really popular for us with the side lace it's a very classic uh biker style that the ladies and men are wearing but this one here is very basic simple design it's also got the snap line 24 snaps up front which you can put your vest extenders on it's got the side lacing so you can wear it over your uh jacket if you put your colors on the back and it's a great item for if you're a, you don't have to be a biker to wear this this is a great uh fashion piece as well the uh, also has, uh, let's see, it's got soft nylon lining on the inside. You got a CCW on the one side here. It's got the, uh, uh, it's got a barrel loop on the inside to hold the piece in place. There we go, nice large pocket, great for your cell phone or other things you want to carry with you. And a good economy priced vest for the ladies right there. Okay, that's one of many. Uh, we also have, here's, a, I'll show you a very interesting one that's made here at Jam and Leather. This one here is a leather halter top made of genuine leather. <laughs> but it does look like snakeskin because it actually is a printed printed uh, snake print on lambskin. And it's a real nice, it's got the soft uh, natural suede on the inside and it is extremely comfortable and a great item. We offer this particular lace up halter top simply and ties around the neck and the back so it's very universal fitting. And this one here we have available in white and also in black, but the snake skin really, really is kind of cool. So check that out. And uh, so it's, it's springtime. Maybe you want to wear it on the beach. It'd look great on you. Look great on you too, Ryan. 
Right, that's what it be. Yes. Oh, well, I wouldn't wear it. No. <laughs> 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 well, we might make you wear it, okay? How about oh. that? Okay, so here we got We got a lot of great items for the ladies here. And this is, here's a sneak peek of some of the halters we have coming in in some colors. Here we go. This is really cool. There we go. Some really neat colors and some antique finish. But uh, we do offer a lot of ladies halters and vests, so you want to check out all the varieties of halters and vests. Let me see. I think I got another one here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This one here is really popular for the ladies. It's got a line 24 snaps on the front, which you can use your vest extenders for if you'd like to. It's also got side snap here. And what's really cool is this design on the back with the mini study. You can see it's an embroidered uh, embroidery as well as the mini studs, as well as a colored leather on the inside inlays for the wings. Really, really cute vest for the ladies. It's got reflectors. You can see here this little trim in here. This is a reflective little piping here. It's on the front and the back. So if you're riding, you'll be able to see, excuse me, be seen at night. There we go. Also, it's got an inside pocket right here, top load pocket on this side. And on this side, another top load here for the ladies. Really, really cute vest. And it's a jam and leather brand. You want to check that out. And really, really cool. Looks really good on. So check that out when you get a chance. Match it with any pair of chaps or leather, leather pants. That'll look really good. That's one of many of the ladies' chaps here. Also, one more, I'm sorry, vest. We got one vest here that I'd like to share with you. This one here is, is another Jam and Leather Unique brand. Here, it's got side lacing on it, so you can wear it over your jacket if you want to. And also, it's, it also looks cool. Another option with the side lacing, you can take the lacing out and put some colored uh, shoestring or other leather lacing in there, different colors to make it interesting. But this one already has purple piping on trim here, which is very, very unique and only available Jam and Leather. Just so you know, it's on the front and the back, and it looks really cute on. Maybe the purple matches your bike or, or the outfits you like to wear when you're riding, or just a good fashion piece for you. It's a great item. On the inside here, we got a CCW pocket on this one here. CCW pocket right here, and a regular pocket top load here with a cell phone large cell phone pocket right there. This is a great vest for the ladies. CCW pocket has a, a barrel loop on the inside to hold your piece in place. You can actually um, you can actually use it as a large cell phone pocket too. It's a great item. It's got two zippered front pockets as well. Check that out when you get a chance. Okay, Ryan, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about another celebrity that might wear a lot of biker leatherwear. What do you, who do you think that might be? Oh, uh, after the pink one, that that, that threw pink, me off. The I, pink the pink threw you off, right? Okay. Yeah, These are the most popular bikers that are out there. I'll give you another one that maybe you might, might not recognize the name, but most people will. Ewan McGregor. Do you know who Ewan McGregor is? Is he Obi-Wan Kenobi? Yes, I think he is, actually. Yes. <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking Moulin Rouge, but uh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Ewan McGregor, he's a great actor. I like, really like watching his movies. He's one. Um, uh, Bear Grylls, if you know who that is. Bear Grylls, he's, he does reality TV. I don't know if you remember who he is, but he's also another popular uh, down and dirty biker. So just so you know, I got a few more here. I'm gonna give you one that's real popular. Really popular these days. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling, another movie star. He's a biker as well, just so you know. We got, we got several more to talk about, but we're gonna talk about something else in a second here. You wanna know who the celebrity bikers are? We know who they are. So we got a couple more to share with you. What else do we got to talk about today? Did you see Ryan Gosling's Ken song that he, he did? did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I brought that up and I forgot to bring it up, but I did. I did exactly. He did a great job on on uh, the the uh, Oscars last night. So it was really cool to watch. So yeah, I I missed only ha half of it, but it still was fun to watch. So yeah, mm -hmm. Ryan Gosling is something else. So anyway, mm -hmm. I'm a little jealous, but I wish I was on TV. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay. <laughs> You're on something better right now. Yeah, I'm live on, on mm -hmm. social media. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else we got there, Ryan? All right. Why don't we talk about the uh, women's leather jackets that we have? Women's leather jackets. Now, if you're going to ride this season, you if we're talking about bikers season, basically, is uh, you want to stay protected when you ride. So we've got a couple, just a couple I want to share with you, maybe two or three. I think there's two or three here to want to talk about, just so you're more familiar. You want to get the jackets that you need to keep yourself protected. You know, wearing, wearing a no helmet, no, uh, no shirts, T-shirts, and, and jeans. You know, it's very, very dangerous. You can get yourself really hurt or scratched up pretty good if you have a mishap. So we don't want you to do that. So wear your leather. 
keep yourself cool and sometimes those vented jackets are really nice i'll give you an example of one of the many jackets that are out there here's a little bit longer one for the ladies that like to cover up just a little bit more but it looks really really good this one here is a classic motorcycle style jacket three quarter length for the ladies with a belt that happens to be removable it's a great great looking uh, motorcycle type jacket it's a motorcycle style collar which is asymmetric front zipper it's also got a front i think it's a chest pocket here this one here's so, yep a snap pocket on the front here and uh, it's also your super it's really super nice soft lambskin leather on this particular one let me show you the inside here it's really good it's got two lower pockets so you can keep your stuff in and it is super comfortable and a large appel it's got also a top load pocket that goes through the liner as you can see it does have a removable liner here that is also a removable vest liner so it'll keep you nice and warm this on the other side here it's got another top load uh, pocket right there so you can keep your stuff in really nice uh, premium brand wet blue is a premium brand and really nice super comfortable and the lambskin is super spongy soft that you absolutely love when you're wearing it extra comfortable for you guys out there that would really like something some you ladies that might want something a little different there we go nice three-quarter length ladies also here's a classic uh, jacket here a little bit uh, a little bit more of a classic straight uh, uh, scooter type or should I say it's a cafe racer style jacket it's got the two zipper front pockets got zippers on the cuffs as you can see here to keep the wind out or, or let it in if you'd like if you're riding you don't have to be riding for a motorcycle or for a jacket like this but if you are it's good to have it on the inside it's got a zip out liner as you can see here a top load pocket I mean a vertical pocket for entrance right there which is great to put some of your cell phone in whatever and it's got a nice zip out liner and it's a vest liner again so it looks like a jam and leather brand as you can see there just a very nice basic jacket it's also got side snaps as well just so you know we have a couple of versions of this that are missing the side zippers just so you know that it is a great basic jacket this one here is it looks like it's a it's a cowhide or buffalo leather it's available uh, so either way you're getting a great piece of lambskin I should say some of them are lambskin too so we'll share that with you but it's a great buy right now okay Ryan Okay, Ryan, what else are we talking about? You want to see, you want to know who the who more celebrities are out there? Ooh, yeah, sure, why not? This might not surprise you. If I say Brad Pitt, would you believe that he's a biker? I think Brad Pitt's everything. <laughs> he's got a, he's, he said, they say he's got a World War II Nazi motor, uh, model or, or worth around forty four uh, four hundred thousand dollars is what they say. Okay, this is, uh, That's a that's a great option. You know who else might have a motorcycle that you might want to know that might you might say with Brad Pitt would be who? George Clooney. <laughs> that's not who I was thinking, but mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's see. Hold on, I might have it in there. You're absolutely right. George Clooney is another biker. Just so you know, they like motorcycling too. So. Um, how about somebody else that, that you can think of with Brad Pitt? Come on, they're like this now. I mean, more like this now <laughs> instead of this. They used mm -hmm. to be like this, but now they're like this. Uh, Angelina Jolie? Yes, Angelina Jolie, another biker chick, but she rides her own. She's a pretty amazing. You see her in a movie. She's uh, aware of she drove, drove, drove a few of those. So, yeah, I told you earlier, Ryan Gosling. Okay. I still didn't tell you who the most popular biker celebrity is yet so um but i'll come back to that a little bit what else we got to talk about there ryan why don't we talk about some of the other women's apparel Ooh, that we have that's interesting stuff that's for sure um you see the uh the lacy lace booty there that's really really cool <laughs> okay i don't know what else they brought me here but let's see if i have something interesting to share with you no they didn't bring anything else uh i don't see it but there's a lot of great accessories here, jam and leather. So check them all out. You see them in the image there. So um, we appreciate you hanging out with us. But there's a lot of great accessories. We have quite a few accessories as far as quantity goes. Yeah, get that sheet there for me, Ryan. Oh, so, yeah, sure. yeah, how many? I want to know how, how many, how many leather, uh, how much leather uh, accessory products do we have? Right there. Let me see. Let me here. Give it to me. Let me see. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's right. As far as chaps go, do you know that Jam and Leather has 
24 men's style chaps and 21 style of women's style chaps. We have a lot, a lot of selection there. How about leather pants? Jam and Leather has a large selection of pants more than anybody else there. We have 15 styles of men's leather pants. And for women's leather pants, we have 13 styles of leather pants. So that's a lot of selection to choose from. So, but I do want to talk about not just leather pants, but leather chaps, but I also want to talk about weddings, okay? If you want to get married this spring, if you want to get married and you want to have the part of, uh, maybe not, it could be a biker wedding, but it doesn't have to be. Do you know we have lots of leather that are perfect for a wedding? And you don't know, if you only realize how many couples we've actually set up with, with leather for their wedding, it's pretty funny, actually. So I'll give you an example right here. We have white leather motorcycle jacket for the ladies. Now you get that little edgy woman out there that you've decided to marry. This might be the perfect wedding outfit for you. Just put the motorcycle jacket on it. We have white leather vests. We have white leather chaps. Here's, an, here's a sample of our white chaps right here. This one here, okay. And we also, not to mention, not just the chaps, but we also have the men's white jacket, motorcycle jacket, so you can match and it'll be a perfect wedding. So you can actually get married in all white. The wet light, we have quite a couple of different uh, ladies' jackets in white as well. So just so you know, we have some great stuff. So if you want to, some people actually wear their leather chaps is one option for you. Leather chaps, here's an example of leather chaps right here. I want to show, I want to be a little more detailed about this one because this one's been around a little bit. Jam and Leather original brand, as you can see there, Jam and Leather makes it. And uh, we, this is a classic uh, pants style chap here. It's also, there's a couple of the newer versions have the pants style pockets. The last ones don't have a little patch pocket, so you'll see it in the picture. But it's also got back lacing, which is actually adjustable, and also you can let it out if you need to. And this one here has got the buckle on the front to adjust it in the buckle. It's got the lacing on the back, so if you want to, if you want to overlap it or you want to let it out a little bit, you just uh, unlace it there. It's got the nice uh, mesh lining here, as you can see here. It's also got the, uh, at the bottom here, it's got three snaps, three or four snaps. Oh, there's five snaps on this one at the bottom. And all you have to do is if you want to trim it to length, the nylon lining, the nylon mesh lining goes all the way down to about here around the cuff. And you just trim off the length that you need based on the shoes that you wear or, or the wedding outfit that you decide to put together. So there we go. So this looks really good on. It's very popular for us here at Jam and Leather. We have quite a few different ones, but this is really nice. This is made of either cow, we have some cowhide ones, we have some lambskin ones. Check that out when you get a chance. So you wanna wear white in your wedding? Is one of several outfits that you can wear and you can maybe maybe be a little risque underneath and put that uh, snakeskin halter top underneath for, the, for that uh, party after. Right, right, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to know who more celebrity bikers are? Oh, someone has a question. Can okay. chaps be considered intimate item? It depends if you wear pants or not. <laughs> <laughs> it can be as intimate as you want to be. Chaps is a great item for the ladies. <laughs> and yes, it could be an intimate item. Great selection here. <laughs> okay, celebrity bikers. I have a couple more to share with you. You said men, you said George Clooney before. Did you know, how about, what is it, the movie Wild Hogs? Is that what the name of the movie was? Wild Hogs, John Travolta. I knew you wouldn't get that one, so I said it anyway. Okay. John Travolta is a biker. He, he does, he does, he was in the movie, yeah, in the film Wild Hogs, that's correct. And it was a great movie, I think it was pretty funny. Who else was that? That was uh, Tim, yeah, the tool man, that guy. He was also in that movie too. Tim for, Allen? Tim Allen was also in that too. Yes, I believe so. And correct me if I'm wrong, okay? But uh, it's pretty funny. Also, let's see, who else I got here? Did you know, you know the, 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 the that uh, Hugh Laurie is? You know who Hugh Laurie is? Unfortunately, no. No, but if you watch the, the TV series House, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Very popular actor. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Very popular actor. He likes Yamaha's. Huss. And let's see if I have any more that I can share with you. Yep, I do have one more. The most popular biker dude of them all. Give me one second here. I just I have too many pages. I should have I should have rewrote the damn thing. Okay. Okay. Nope. Okay. The most popular biker 
an actor that does all his own stunts, who can you think, because that's the one nobody talks about that more than anybody else, who does his own stunts for almost every movie that he's in? Almost, I would say Tom Cruise. You're absolutely right. Tom Cruise is the most popular uh, biker out there. He wears leather and he makes sure he's protected when he rides. So yes, he's a, he's definitely a biker. So we have all we have always have a lot of bikers to talk about, and one of them is our celebrities that uh, that uh, that actually yeah maybe they maybe even patronize us. I know one celebrity that's actually patronized us just probably just a couple of years ago. And her name, who actually bought this, I don't know, she didn't directly, but she's wearing one of our pair of white leather chaps. Mm -hmm. You know who that might be? Oops. Real popular. Real popular. Oh, I don't know. Who is it? Real popular. Oh, the Kim Kardashian? <laughs> that wasn't hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We have pictures to prove it, so we'll we'll get that to you next week. So actually, maybe even Friday, we'll let you know on Friday. We'll maybe we'll share that picture with you. In the meantime, I just want you to know we have a lot of things going on. If you are a shopper, buy more, save more. This is your deal. Buy more, save more. You can get twenty five percent off your second item or fifty percent off your third item if you want to shop some more. We have a great selection, don't we, Ryan? That's right. Okay. Lots to choose from. Okay. What else do you want to cover? Anything else? Yes. I don't know. Did you have any other topics you wanted to go over? Uh, maybe. I think I have one more thing to share with you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Actually, next Friday, we're going to have an interview with uh, Heaven Saints, a representative from Heaven Saints, Tracy Clemens. A Golden Eagle, I guess, is his uh biker name and he's going to be out there to talk to you right here live at, at four o'clock on friday to talk about their charity events that are going on and we're part a little part of what they do as well so we appreciate that as well and uh you know hey jam and leather's got deals we got a couple of those you to look for them and just sort by price and you'll see them and here's a here's an easy little discount for everybody abby abby's our little mascot dog we just we just published the Dog, you should have you need a slide for that next next time. Mm -hmm. The slide from Abby. She is now on the internet selling a leather motorcycle jacket for dogs. Really cute. And if you put this code in, $25 or more, you can get $5 off an easy one. So actually, let me see. We're going to talk about social media. You guys want to make sure that you're there. In TikTok, you make sure you, you like us and follow us using the, 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 the heart and the plus. You're going to click on that. Instagram, you want to make sure you follow us on Instagram. You want to make sure you like us on Facebook. And you want to, in YouTube, you want to subscribe to us on YouTube as well as Twitter. We, we not want you to know that we're out there. We're doing our thing. We appreciate you checking us out. we got a lot of stuff to share with you, new markdowns. And just like I said uh, last week, I told you, 230 plus new SKUs just added to the website. So if you want to check Ooh. them out, you'll have to go shopping. So Ooh, yeah, that's all. That's right. You got to go to shop.jamletter.com. Shop. Jamletter. I should have a sign for that. Okay. Yeah. And we, we appreciate all the likes, all the comments, and any sharing of our content and stuff. We all appreciate that. As you, as Ryan said, yes, we'd love to hear from you. Just share your comments. You know, put in your put in your two cents every once in a while. We want to know what's going on out there. So and thanks so much. If you so have much. some jam and leather products, you know. Take a picture of you wearing it and tag us. Absolutely. We'd love to see a picture of you and our products. Absolutely. So until next time, we'll see you at Friday on 4 o'clock. And we look forward to seeing you there and talk about more things. More leather trivia. Maybe we'll talk about more bikers in leather or celebrities in leather. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's right. Okay, Ryan. Thanks so much, Alvin Ryan. We'll talk to you soon. Thank All you, everybody. Right. Have a great day.